coach of the South Carolina Gamecocks, Steve Spurrier. Steve, you put together yet another solid class. How would you assess the job that your staff has been able to do in putting together your recruiting class? Yeah, Reese, it's a good, solid class. A lot of good players at a lot of different positions. So uh, I think we got 23, 24, something like that. Uh, three, three players are already here. But anyway, I was wondering why you didn't send a, a reporter to our campus. You know, uh, we were 11 and 2 last year, number 8 in the country. Did you know that? I, I am fully aware of I it. I thought maybe somebody down here irritated you guys. Huh? Uh, you, you know, you know uh, what? Now, now, Steve, you know my affinity for you and your personality. I would have somebody there with you 24-7 if you would allow it. Well, I was just curious. You know, we sort of, we like tacos, too, down here. You know that, don't you? So, <laughs> so don't forget about us all the time, okay? No, 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 no. We won't, uh, won't forget about you at all. Hey, well, give me a, give me an insight on, on Shaq Rowan and what he can bring to your offense. Yeah, Shaq, uh, Mr. Football in our state, number one recruit uh, in our state, uh, a lot like Jadavion Clowney last year. Uh, yeah, he's a kid that can come in and play wide receiver right away. He's just he's got that kind of ability and speed and hands, and uh, I think he can learn the offense pretty quickly. So he's a he's a special, talented young man and a wonderful attitude. And uh, like his high school coach said, he doesn't know how great he is. He he wants to work to get better and try to improve. So uh, he, he's like a lot of these players here. Uh, we figured out, uh, Reese, that none of our guys, uh, all all the guys that committed, uh, stuck with us. Everyone who officially committed uh, uh, signed with us uh, today. So uh, that's a good quality bunch of guys. Uh, Steve, how do you determine the target number, if you have one, for the number of true freshmen that, that you'd like to see contributed special teams or in the rotation or at some point during their first year on campus? I don't know that there's a number. We redshirted a lot of players from last year's class, I think around 22. So uh, there, there, there's a group of guys that are going to be ready to help out this year, we hope. And uh, certainly a bunch of these uh, incoming freshmen here, we just sort of put them all out there and start competing. And uh, if some guys can get a little faster and quicker and smarter, uh, then certainly they're ahead of the new guys coming in. But, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much uh, competition everywhere now. Freshmen, if they're good enough to play, we, we all play them. And, uh, but you'd, you'd like to have a lot of fourth and fifth year players, but uh, if they're good enough to go pro, they, they certainly usually don't last five years. Well, a guy that's coming into his third year for you, Marcus Lattimore, how's his mm -hmm. recovery coming from his injury? Yeah, his recovery's coming very well. In fact, I see him down in the training room all the time. I had my knee replaced uh, almost four weeks ago now. So we're down there uh, pushing and lifting and trying to get our flexibility back and all that kind of stuff. But Marcus is a tremendous worker. He should be 100% full speed uh, by next August. Coach, I'm going to file an official complaint with my superiors there if you don't go. have a reporter in Columbia, okay? I thought they forgot about us a little bit, okay? Uh, we don't forget about you. You can use it as motivation. Okay, my man. Thanks, uh, Reese. All right, Steve. Uh, see you. All right, we'll see you soon. Steve Spurrier, head coach of the Gamecocks, loves to stick the needle in anybody within sight. So Steve's putting together a great class after an 11-win season. In his first 